Hello Swedes! On this techno tip, we are going to be learning about the Dock Hub. With the Dock Hub, you can do many things, but to start off, we're going to navigate to the home page. So we're going to go ahead, right here, I already typed it in. So it's going to be dockhub.com. Going to click that. Once it loads, you can go ahead and sign in. And then if you already have projects right here, it'll be in the documents. If you need to import something new, however, you can go New, Import New Document, select from your computer, a Dropbox, or a Google Drive. In this case, we'll do Google Drive. We will click this, find what we want to do. In this case, it's going to be a scholarship, so we'll go ahead and select that. It'll be importing it, and it's just as it was before. However, let's say we want to add something like my name. So we'll go up here, right where it says Text Tools. We'll grab this, we can pull it out, and we'll say, type in my name, and then you can change different things. You can change the font, you can change the font size and font type. After adding my name, you can add different things as well. So let's go up here, and let's say I want to add a signature somewhere in the document. So I'll go up here where it says Sign, and if you want to create a signature, you can go right here, Create Signature. You can send it to your phone and you can actually sign it with your phone. You can draw it on here. You can upload an image or you can type. But in this case, we'll go ahead and say type. My name is right there, so we'll go ahead and select one. Let's say this one looks the best. So I'll go ahead, click that, and save it. Signature is saved, and so now I can go ahead and draw that anywhere I like. Go up here, so this one right here, and draw that. So that's how you add a signature, and you can do other things, like you can draw something or you can highlight. Let's say I want this essay done first, so I'm going to leave a mental note to myself, so I'm going to highlight that right there, and that will stay on this document. Once everything is finished, you can go up here to the top left and print it out, or you could save it. Okay, then once you go ahead, it automatically saves, so if you want to print it after that, that's fine. And then you can go through the document, make sure everything is signed and as you want it to be. And that'll do it for this Doc Hub tutorial. Thank you, Swedes, and have a great day.